past weekend, Cape Town <laughs> was a buzz with uh, everyone bringing their A game to the Met 2016. Oh, I didn't miss they were there. You were oh, there. I didn't no, see I didn't you there. You did because some people were there for the horse oh, racing, and right. you know, yeah. but some people were there for the socializing and the fashionista mm -hmm. and all those good things. But all in all, it was a really beautiful representation of the theme of the day, which is of course a rare blend. This year's theme, A Rare Blend, celebrates unexpected collaborations, which brings about something unique and rare. The Met 2016 gallops onto the social calendar this month, and the day has finally arrived. What's more, it sees celebrities from all around the country finally come out of the shadows to enjoy a day of fun and fashion in the Mother City Sun. Steeped in rich racing history, the Met has evolved to become a celebration of the local horse racing industry, of summer, and of individuality on display. Shayna, this year's Met is believed to be the biggest event in the race's 39-year run. How has it come to be one of South Africa's main lifestyle and fashion events? Every single year we bring together a great combination of music, horse racing and fashion. I think it's one of the most prestigious events on the South African calendar and everybody knows and loves it. And finally, what do you think about this year's theme of a rare blend and seeing it come to life so beautifully here? Well, we're seeing it everywhere if you just look around. Great textures, great colours. I mean, we had the paper dress, which won most elegant couple competition. So everyone is just bringing all of our differences together and the sum of all their parts form a rare blend. Judging this year's most elegant couple competition was a tough task and it was the unique use of paper and fabric that won the highest honours. We just thought Please that this fully represents a rare blend. It is so unique and it's so all the materials and stuff that come together. It just makes such an elegant combination. Origami meets couture. The whole dress is made of paper and um, it is accentuated with pearls and we've used different kinds of paper and materials and uh, it's repeated in my bow tie as well and it brings the whole, the whole design together. In a very unexpected result, the only filly in this year's big race left all the boys eating her dust as Smart Call cruised to a comfortable win. I must say it's an awesome feeling. It's, I've been racing now for probably like 10, close to 10 years and it's my first group one. Just an awesome experience. Yeah. Best horse in the race, good trainer, top owners and uh, yeah, everything worked out. All eyes were on the VVIPs to see how the celebrities interpreted this year's theme and which designer creations they donned on the day. What I love most about the Rare Blend theme is just that you can really interpret it in your own way. So whether it's retro and modern, whether it's, you know, monochrome, whether it's prints and solids, and I'm loving seeing all the different kinds of textures, it's beautiful. I love this, this rare blend and I love the fact that because this is exactly what's happening in South Africa. It's about putting things together that don't necessarily go together but absolutely go together. Tomorrow day in the house, or shall I say, at the race course. You look absolutely exquisite. Tell me, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Criterion George, and uh, we thought we'd uh, go with something re a little bit different, a real pop of colour. It's kind of a rare blend with me. Pink is not my usual colour, but I'm, I'm really loving it. What do you love most about the Met? Because it certainly is one of the highlights of the social calendar. I love to see what people put together in terms of the theme and the outfits. Obviously, the fashion element is, is, is very exciting for me. And, I mean, of course, the races. I, I'm not a betting girl, but I love to see other people go crazy and yeah, hopefully they win money, not lose too much. <laughs> He's one of the tallest guys in the industry and apparently very dashing as well. Tall ass Mo looking so good. How are you? Come on with it. I'm looking, I'm feeling and looking great. I can't complain. Awesome. And how has the theme of a rare blend inspired your look today? You know what? Myself and Tamara are, are like, you know, a very rare combination. I mean, it's ebony and ivory. Pink and blue. You understand? Yeah, black and pink, you know, black and white. Those kind of vibes. So we're like a young yin and yang. You look amazing. You're going to have an awesome time. Let's catch up later. Tall as Mo, everybody. Looking so good. What I'm loving most about it is the fact that it's actually my first time here. So for it to be my first time, I'm actually looking forward to see how everyone will interpret their take on a rare blend. And also just to get to see everyone, because I think this is one of those events where everyone comes under one roof. Ending off a spectacular day was music by some of the country's hottest acts like Jimmy Nevis, The Kiffness and Crazy White Boy. Hopefully the two of us can uh, tear up the dance floor a little bit later on. Look, are we doing a cha-cha, rumba or a foxtrot? I say let's do a combo of all three of them. Freestyle. Hello. <laughs>